I'm now going to read the story, recipe for a story, and this is by the author Ella Burfoot, and I really like it because it helps you think about all of the important things that you should include in your writing if you would like to be an author, so that's someone who writes their own stories. I am going to cook a book. I'll break some thoughts into a cup. I'll beat them, whisk them, mix them up. I'll weigh out the words just enough. Choosing the right ones can be tough. The small ones go into the pot. He, she, it, when and what. I'll drop some big words from a height. Elephant, crocodile, dynamite! Now that my story has begun, I'll cut out the characters one by one. Feelings, colours, sounds, a picture, all add flavour to my mixture. I'll add a watery word or two, I'll pour them in and stir them through. Splish, splosh, splash, drip or sprinkle, glug and gurgle, squelch and tinkle. Now I'll put a lid on it, wait a while, let it sit. It's not until I roll it out that I'll find out what it's all about. And now I'll lay it in the tin so my characters can jump in. Next, the middle, the action, the filling, into the pan without any spilling. Now all I'll do is simply add a spoon of good and a pinch of bad. Turn up the heat, let the bubbles quicken, and then my plot begins to thicken. Every sentence will taste much better if I add a full stop and a capital letter. But where did I put them? I've seen them myself. Here they are, in the cupboard on the top shelf. Lastly, the ending. I'll press it down and add decoration all around. I will glaze with happiness, leave it to cook, then bake it, brown it and finish my book. I turn the pages and I can tell that my recipes turned out well. I've done everything that I need to make my story a delicious read. Now you have all the ingredients, why not cook up a story of your own?